Namaste, Soul Tribe, Spiritual Healer, back to give you guys a message. Hi, my beautiful collective. This message is for the collective watching this video. Beautiful star seeds, earth angels, healers, light workers. Thank you for joining me for this message. This message is going to resonate with whoever it needs to resonate with. This is a timeless reading. Whenever you see this reading, you are meant to see it. This message is for all signs. It doesn't matter what sign you are for this message to resonate. My beautiful love. So let's get right into the energy reading. Okay, so I'm basically shuffling the decks and I'm gonna start I'm gonna start um doing this. I'm gonna start shuff I'm gonna be shuffling the decks, then I'm gonna be placing the decks down, and I'm gonna just be pulling cards from the top of the decks. All right, and this is what the message is going to be. All right, some of you guys are dealing with a real opportunist. An opportunist that is around your energy that is uh, seeking some sort of validation from you, seeking some sort of clout from you, or, you know, seeking your energy. This uh, opportunist is seeking your energy, all right? They want to get into your head, or they want to, like, pick your brain. They want to know what you got going on. They want to know how you're doing something. There's an opportunist here, all right, that's coming around you, so you got to be mindful with this person. This person knows that you are a very talented artist or that you have a lot of spiritual gifts and that you are eccentric, that you're unique, that you have an out-of-the-box out, out way of thinking, all right? You do something that's, like, unorth, unorthodox. That's what I heard, out of the ordinary. And um, so this person has been put onto you by somebody else. Somebody else that feels rejected by you. Somebody else that can't get into your energy. Somebody else that you figured this person out. All right. This person feels rejected by you because you figured them out because this person was playing some sort of mind game, playing some sort of manipulation tactics on you, on your energy. This person um, always is a type of person. This could be anybody that you're dealing with in your life. You have to distance yourself from this person because this person is very manipulative. OK, they always figure out a way. <clears throat> They always figure out a way to make you feel bad for cutting them off. This person makes you feel bad for cutting them off. Okay, I don't know who this is. But this person has been playing some sort of mind game or some sort of manipulation tactics. With the people that are surrounded around this person, this could be their family, their children, whoever, their friends. They have been manipulating these individuals in order to get back into your energy in order to make you look like you hurt them, all right? You uh, were using them for something or you hurt them or something that happens where you had to pull back your energy from this energetic leech because that's what they are. They're an energy vampire. They're an energetic leech, all right? So this person was like is really feeling some type of way because you distance yourself, you cut them off, you block them, you pull back your energy and you're really not hanging out with this person anymore, or you're not really falling for their okie doke. You're not really falling for their uh, for the show that they've been putting on around you. Somebody's always putting on a show for people. This person needs attention. They feel rejected by you. So this individual is doing the most. All right, doing the most, like I mean, trying to make you feel bad for cutting them out of your energy. Or trying to make other people feel bad for them. And making you look like the bad guy, male or female. Oh, this person di didn't help me. They left me out in the cold, blah, blah, blah. Or this person could be telling people you didn't help them. Or this person could be telling people, oh, I try to help this person, blah, blah, blah. But they're just a lost cause. Da, 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 da. They needed me to help them. But you know what? I'm not helping them anymore. So somebody was telling somebody else that they were actually helping you. But this person was never helping you. This person never helped you. Okay? They were fake helping you. They pretended that they helped you. Or they pretended that they were coming around to assist you, uh, to support you, that they had your best interests. All right? So maybe you put your guard down with this person, allowed them back into your energy because they seemed like they wanted to help you. But that, that was like fake. Fake helping you. This person just wanted to put you in a predicament. To tell other people that, you know, you uh, didn't have it all together, so they had to help you. So somebody that really pretended to help you was really bad-mouthing you behind your back when they were pretending to help you. But what they really did or what they're really planning to do put you in a worse situation, put you in a compromising situation, and then, 
you know, pull back their energy from you, ghost you, leave you in a situation, not help you. So be mindful because somebody um is is making it seem like they were actually trying to help you, but this person never wanted to help you. What they wanted to do was sabotage you more. Okay, so be mindful who who's helping you or who you're helping because this could be either way you look at it. This could you could switch the energy if you need to. Okay, you could have helped somebody. And then they went and betrayed you, and then they did. They took your help for granted, and then they lied on you, and they made it seem like you were the bad guy, and you put them out. Or you, this could be somebody that was actually pretending to help you, and they did this to you. This person just wanted to bind you to them, or to blind you. That They wanted to blind you from the fact that they pretended to want to help you, they pretended to help you, or they pretended to be in your best interest because they wanted to block you from healing. So they wanted to cause more trauma. They wanted to cause more drama. They wanted to make you feel um, isolated. They wanted to make you feel like everything's happening to you, like you can never catch a break. They just wanted to make you feel like you were not favored. The vine didn't have your back. God wasn't protecting you or something like that. All right, because you really thought this person was really trustworthy and that they were going to help you. Or you really thought that you were going to help somebody and they were going to actually respect you. They were going to actually give you credit for helping them. No, this person came into your life somehow, either way you look at it, if you helped them or they helped you, in order to blind you, to keep you from healing, and to bind you to some sort of energy, some sort of resentment, to put you in the two of swords. But you could have figured this person out. Okay, so your light is activated right now. Collective, your light is activated, so be mindful because you're not going to resonate with everybody around you. There's more people in their dark energy, all right, right now that are resisting change, okay? So there's people around you that are resisting change, all right? They're not, they're not wanting to uh, listen to what you have to say when it comes to spirituality. They don't want to believe you, all right, that you healed yourself or that you're healing yourself, uh, by loving yourself. They don't want to believe that. They think that's ridiculous because these people, they're low vibrational. So they all they worship is money and materials. And they worship uh, people that are of high status. When um, these people, they can't resonate with you because it is not their spiritual purpose or their spiritual path to actually awaken and align themselves this lifetime. These people were actually placed into your life as energetic blockages because the divine already knew that these individuals would not accept the fact that they needed to heal, that they needed to change, that there was actually a God, that God was in control and they weren't in control of your life. These people didn't want, this person or these people did not want to believe that God was the one in control of your life the whole time. They wanted to believe that they had some sort of power over you, that they were in control of you. Somebody was very narcissistic and controlling, and when they lost control of you, they this person started uh, manipulating other people, lying on you. This person thought they would always have control of your life, your love life, your, your energy, your happiness, or whatever, whoever this is. Your light is activated, so be mindful, because when your light is activated, when you are awakened, when your energy has shifted... When you're on a new path, when you step into your north node, the demons know who you are, okay? The dark entities that are attached to different people's bodies and vessels that are working through these people, they know who you are. They see your light. They know that you are a chosen and destined earth angel, that you are connected with the most high. They see your light. They know who you are. They know you're pure, so then they start shape-shifting around you. So pay attention to people shape-shifting around you, targeting you for no reason because of your light, feeling triggered by you for no reason because of your light. And then uh, these, these individuals are trying to distract you from doing your spiritual healing, your spiritual practices, from focusing on what's important. So be mindful. Okay, so I pull, I shuffled these decks right here in front of me. I shuffled this deck, the Matrix deck. I shuffled this deck. I shuffled this deck. And I shuffled this deck. So right now, I'm going to pull a couple cards from this Oracle deck, and then I'm going to pull a couple cards from these, these three decks right here and see what Spirit has to say for this energy. Okay, collective, let's get the message, Spirit, for my beautiful Soul Talk family members. What's going on with them? 
What is the main energy? What is the important message that they need to see, hear, or know at this time? What is the message? <clears throat> delight. Okay? Because something is going to be delightful in your life. Delight. Okay? Because you are the light. You see how I said, you guys, your light has been activated. I cannot make it up. Thank you, spirit. Your light has been activated, all right? And now you're attracting birds. Everywhere you go, you're seeing birds. These are your feathered friends. These are uh, your divine protectors. These birds are connected to divine, the most high God, and your ancestors. They come as a message, as a sign, as a symbol of protection, of abundance, okay? That you are not from this earth, but you're in this earth, but you're not from this earth, okay? And the light, okay? So when I said the light, look at the word on the card, it says delight, because you are the light. You are delight. I'm telling you, the word light is in this card. Thank you, spirit. You're seeing birds right now. That's confirmation. Finding feathers, okay? Getting um, energetic downloads and upgrades. Stand still. Your ancestors want you to stand still, all right, for the moment. Don't make any rational decisions. Don't make any sudden changes in your life right just yet. All right. Maybe you can be implementing something new into a health regimen or something new into a diet plan. Or you guys are going out to work out, raising your vibration. Stand still and observe. A situation is about to unfold right in front of your eyes. Yes, stand still because the Most High God is bringing you sudden change for the better. So when it is time for you to move, you will know it. Because there's going to be a major tower, event, or information, or something that happens that's beautiful and wonderful in your life. Or there's like a major blessing coming in. Okay, an opportunity. This could be a windfall. This could be an opportunity. This is the divine putting you in your right path. This is the divine putting you in front of this major opportunity because this is your birthright. Okay, because you worked hard for something. And so they want you to stop doing something. They want you to quit. They want you to walk away. But it's not just quite time. It's not the right time right now to do it. Stand still because the Most High God is in charge of the sudden change that's coming in your life. And He is like shifting you into a whole new reality. He is uh, transforming things in your life for the better. So yeah, go with the flow when there's sudden change. If something happens, it's because it was meant to happen. It's because God is shifting you out of a, out of this timeline into a new timeline. Yeah, and He's and you need to release. Release the old, release the fears, release the negative thoughts, release people, places, and things that don't resonate with you. Release them. Just like the leaves fall off of the tree in the, in the fall. All right? When the leaves fall off the tree, the tree is releasing those old leaves. So that way, when the spring comes back around, the tree can bloom new ones. Okay? So something about you're shedding your old skin and you're embodying your true God or goddess energy right now. Wow, this is beautiful embracing change embrace it okay embrace it embrace this change something had to happen here okay so whoever you are you could be a very talented artist okay and you are manifesting a great opportunity for yourself or you have people are recognizing you for your talents okay or there's a talented artist that wants to collaborate with you that wants to come and join uh, forces together with you, all right, and work on some sort of project or something with you, humanitarians, coming to see you. Somebody's coming to see you, okay, because this person knows you're a powerful healer, okay, and this person could have been a talented artist, but they didn't take your advice. Maybe there is a talented artist here that needs your help because they see you're a powerful healer, or you're a talented artist and a powerful healer, and somebody's coming to see you because they need your help. Okay, because they they been they went through some sort of out of body experience. Okay, they experienced something that was supernatural in their life. They could have saw something. They could have experienced something. All right, but this person knows that you can help them. That you're a powerful healer. That you can answer their questions or something. That you have a lot of intuition about this kind of stuff. All right, so there's a group of people or individual that knows now that uh that you have supernatural gifts and abilities um and they need your help okay they're gonna contact you maybe uh for your services or maybe just for your advice or maybe they're coming to you because they feel like somebody has attached something onto them and you can help them Ooh, they they, they feel like they've been compromised okay so this this person could be the same person that wanted to orchestrate some sort of fight altercation or argument with you 
in the recent past, or this could be happening, this person that wants to start an altercation or fight with you because you discover something that they were involved in with your family, that they were working with crooked lawyers in order to take or steal something from you. Okay, so this could be somebody you were dealing with in the past. This could be a lover. This could be an ex. This could be a family member or a friend that you distance yourself from because you figured out that they were actually working with your ex or your family members to take something from you illegally. Okay, and now somebody here is going to try to cause altercation or a fight with you because you exposed them or because you spoke some truth or because you figured something out and you blocked them out of your energy. Somebody could be experiencing heart pains, like heart attack, like symptoms or chest pains. Somebody needs to go to the doctor and get checked. Somebody is experiencing chest pains or heart attack. This person could be a heavy smoker, okay, or somebody indulging on some sort of drugs, but it's causing them to have heart problems or chest pains, or somebody could be in their age, older age, and they could be going through this. All right, so whoever you are, you're going to be reuniting with your soulmate or a child or children, okay, because... Whoever these people are, they even try to uh, separate you from your soulmate. They try to separate you from your child or children. They've been doing the most in your energy. This is a karmic mother figure in the reverse, under judgment. You had a spiritual connection with somebody, but this contract was broken or ended by your ancestors because this person chose to work with your deceitful family members. Yeah, and this could be your ex, or this could be fam a family member texting your ex, keeping contact with your ex, working together. All right, this person tried to love bomb you, but you blocked this person before they could love bomb you, or you need to block somebody because they're trying to love bomb you, but this person really has multiple lovers in the STD. They're trying to trap you here. Like I said before, they know you're on the road to success or enlightenment, all right, and this is their biggest nightmare is that you woke up to the truth, is that you actually went within, is that you actually love yourself. Because they tried to outcast you from the family or from a job or from a community or something like that. Like you didn't belong or fit in or like something was wrong with you. Somebody here could be getting caught cheating and all of a sudden a big fight happens. Ooh, I'm coming soon, all right? So somebody's coming soon because they've been watching you the whole time. Look, I'm coming soon. Look at those eyes. They've been watching you the whole time, keeping tabs on you. But they've been watching you because they still have feelings for you, but they've been living a lie somewhere else. This person is like addicted to your energy too. Some of you guys, your ex is gay, top secret, but you probably figured that out by now that your ex was gay or bisexual and they lied to you, pretending to be straight, pretending to want a connection, a relationship with you. But that's why they were abusive. That's why they were narcissistic. That's why they had a dark energy attachment. And that's why, uh, you know, you allowed them back in more than once or that's why they were able to get into your head because this person was actually working with these people, teaming up, or they had an entity attachment, all right, that had you confused, but you had an inkling or intuition that this person was a little funny money, okay, that they weren't straight, that they were funny money and they lied about it, all right, somebody's pretending to be single, yeah, somebody was pretending to be single, but this person had a lover the whole time, a same-sex lover, I'm not playing with you guys. This is going to resonate with who it needs to resonate, all right? Soulmate union, all right? They were trying to block your soulmate union. Somebody's having a mental breakdown here in voices, all right? Because they, they found out you were a powerful empath and they couldn't defeat you. They tried everything they could to get up in your energy to do something, to transfer energies to you. But you transmute that shit every day, all the time. You're high vibrational. If you dance... You can transmute energies by dancing, all right? That lifts your vibration by dancing, moving around, dancing, exercising, clapping your hands, all right? Taking deep breaths, meditations, affirmations. This is how you transmute energy on a daily, going out in nature. Yeah, and, and the truth about somebody's father is coming out to the light here. Somebody's father was even involved. Somebody's father was trying to get somebody into the sex trafficking um what industry or it has somebody like uh, had uh abuse somebody as a child somebody's dad is is a warlock or they're really dark and they have a dark energy attached somebody's being forced to awaken you lived many past lives all right stolen property there's some sort of stolen property that's going to be returned and that's why these people are having a nervous mental breakdown or somebody around you is because they took part of it but they're gonna have to confess Somebody's going to have to confess because they've been caught. Go with the flow collective. Something is happening abruptly. 
Somebody knew you were very talented, but they try to outshine you, but they try to dim your light, but they try to throw dirt on your name, but they knew you were very talented. They knew your your birthright was to be successful, world-renowned, wealthy, because they got so many readings done on you as you were growing up as a child throughout your life. They did. Yeah, a toxic mother figure and an auntie. All right, they're under judgment. All right, they under judgment. They thought they was going to keep a secret and take it to the grave. But no, something is being exposed here. A whole community is watching you rise up like the star, star famous. All right. And they got exposed. Okay. Working with that uh, Ouija board. Working with those voodoo dolls. Working with that kitchen magic. Working with the word magic. Working with all that confusion spells. Yeah, that's what they were working with. All right. But the more you meditate, the more you elevate. The more you transmute energies, the more they can't attach anything to your energy. And they know this. Okay. So they don't even want you to meditate. They don't like the fact that you're meditating. They're trying to distract you from even that by bringing a lot of drama or chaos around your energy, by distracting you that way. Get back to meditation. If you were meditating and it was helping you and then all of a sudden you stopped meditating or you forgot to meditate and you haven't done it in a while and then you start to feel all these attacks, all these spiritual attacks affecting you, yeah, it's because you stopped meditating. It's because you stopped taking your spiritual bath. It's because somebody took you off your track and got you off your course because you let them back in your energy again. Okay, and this person did not want you to meditate, they don't want you to elevate, and they want you to stay dim, like dumbed down so they can keep doing what they've been doing to you. Keeping you, isolating you from your actual purpose, from your true path, from your connection with the divine. A mother figure here. This doesn't have to be your mother. This could be a karmic female in your life that has children that's a mother, okay, that was working with this karmic masculine that you kept letting back into your energy because they were doing something to you strategically, all right, because remember, the devil works in groups. All right, the demons work in packs. Because you are one light being, one chosen one, favored by the Most High God. And your light is powerful to take out a whole bunch of demons when they're coming at you. You could take out a whole bunch of demons in one shot with your light. So they have to team up. That's how powerful you truly are. Because you know what? God is backing you up. Mm-hmm. God put you on this mission and they're not going to slow you down because you're getting six of pentacles because you have awakened to something and you're standing your ground. All right. And your ex is under judgment too. him and his mom. I feel like your ex and his mom are both under judgment and you could be going somewhere and all of a sudden your ex's mom pops up in the store where you're at. All of a sudden you're driving or you're in traffic. You see this person drive past you or all of a sudden you go to the gas station and there they, this ex pulls up or their mom pulls up. Yeah, because they've been... They've been keeping tabs on you because now they feel like they're, um, they don't have your light. They don't have your protection. They don't have your energy and everything they did, they, it just backfired. So now they're obsessed with you because they want to get back into your energy so they can take from you again. Heck no. You're being protected. Whoever you are. I heard Sam, Sammy, Samantha, Sally, Sarah, Jason, Carol. Vicky, Emily, I heard Kevin, or Kenneth, Kenny, I heard Blanca, I heard Sonia, James, High Priestess, they know you're the truth, Joshua, New project ordeal. Yeah, you manifested this. Karmic feminine here. I heard Carl take you out on a date. Patrick. Yeah, they see you. They see you rising to success, rising all the way to the top, doing something, and it's working out for you. This karmic female, look, under judgment, paying for spell work, paying for readings. Uh, paying people to come in your energy. This person ran out of money. If they were wealthy, they're not wealthy anymore. Okay, because they wasted a lot of their resources on doing negative things to you. So this person's ancestors blocked them because their ancestors are pissed at them because they warned them not to come for you. Secret enemies. Somebody's going to take you out on a date or ask you out on a date. Cousin, moving in together. All right. Somebody's cousin. You know, somebody's cousin here is needing somebody's help. 
But if you let this cousin move in with you, this person is going to try to destroy everything you have. Are they keeping tabs on you, giving information to somebody else? Or this cousin is putting things in your food and drink? Just be careful who you let live with you. If it's a cousin, if it's a brother, if it's a sister, if it's your mom, whoever it is. This person that you allow to live in your space or move in, be mindful with that person. All right, trying to manipulate somebody's child because you're the boss energy. All right, be mindful with this brother figure, justice jail, brother in the reverse, miracle of justice. You've been chosen for something. All right, and they know it. So keep moving forward. Don't let nobody distract you from your healing work, from your energy work, from your purpose, from your responsibilities. Keep moving forward, collective. This is your energy reading. Somebody's being haunted in their own house. All right, because what they did, things could be falling, they, the light could be flickering in your home, your ancestors are furious. If your lights are flickering in your home, then you know your ancestors are present, and that's a side message for somebody. So this is your reading. I hope this helped, my beautiful collective. I love you guys. If you're interested in a personal reading, my email's down below. If you're interested in Crown Chakra Protection Spray, um, it is available, and I also have Be Gone Spiritual Bath available. If you're interested in the spiritual bath, Be Gone. All right, to clear all your energies, it is available. If you're interested in a personal reading, I'm available. And I also, I'm available for counseling services or mentoring services. All right, this is your message. Till the next time, namaste.